lot of people tend to think about the things they need to do in order to accomplish something. However, in this video, I'm going to explain the top five things you need to stop doing in order to be a multimillionaire. I do this shit. Number one is you can't be afraid to fail. You just simply can't listen to negative people and have this idea and be worried about failure. One of the biggest reasons that people don't start a project, a business, is because they're afraid to fail. That paralyzes them. I'm paralyzed. I'm a paralyzed virgin. I mean, some people just can't get out of bed because they're afraid to walk down the street. Your ability to push through the fear of failure, such a huge barrier from for where you are today to get to where you want to be. You can't be afraid to fail. The second thing you got to stop doing to be a millionaire is you got to learn to ask. You got to be confident enough to ask. Give up this idea that you can't ask. Ask and you shall see being shy and all this stuff. You just gotta give up that idea. Like millionaires and billionaires are not shy. You gotta be willing to ask for it. If you don't have the guts to ask for something, you're never gonna get it. The third thing you gotta give up, being afraid of rejection, because you're gonna get rejected. There's so many things that have happened in my life where I was rejected over and over and over and over again. It became this thing that builds up where you're just afraid to fail. You gotta get over the fear of rejection. The fourth thing you gotta stop doing, and this is a really important one, you gotta stop being so reasonable about the people you hang out with. You probably have heard me talk a lot about this. Some people discount it and they think that it's not that important. I'm here to tell you, dude, it's probably one of the most important things you got to stop doing. You got to stop hanging around the wrong people. Stop making justifiable excuses for your friends and for people that are losers, that are negative, that are never going to get you to where you want to be. They're not going to help you get to where you want to be. They're just negative people. Easier said than done. I'm sure that you have a lot of people in your life that think that they love you, that you think care about you, but yet do really stupid things to sabotage what it is that you're trying to accomplish in life your dreams and your goals. And so I want to tell you that if you have those people around you and you're not willing to either talk to them and get them to stop doing what they're doing to you, being negative and sabotaging you, making you feel uncertain about yourself, making you feel uncertain about your ability to reach for things, making you feel insecure about certain things, or making you feel jealous about certain things. If you're not willing to stop doing that and hanging out with those people, you're not going to be a multimillionaire. I can promise you that. The fifth thing you got to stop doing is you got to stop being so hard on yourself, being negative about the things that you've done in the past and allow yourself and give yourself permission to forgive yourself and to know that your past does not equal your future. I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> your past does not equal your future. Your past has no bearing on where you're going to go in life. Zero. The future is dependent on the here and now. The power of now is where you are right now and where you're going to go. And that's the only thing that matters. The only reason that I'm here on this this private island here in the Bahamas, having the ability to talk to you is because I was not willing to put up with that stuff. So I was willing to stop the five things that I mentioned to you. And because I was willing to stop the five things that I, I talked to you about in this video, that's why I'm here today on this beautiful island with that beautiful boat behind me right there. That's my boat, 130 foot yacht with a crew of seven people just for me for seven days to celebrate my birthday. And I wish somebody had told me that these are some of the things that I needed to do in order to get to this level. If that would have happened, I probably would have been way further ahead. Whether you're 20 years old or 55 years old watching this video, it's not too late for you to stop doing those things. I hope you stop doing those five things today watching this video and I hope that I get a message from you down the road that you stopped and maybe I'll see you on this private island. God bless, go get it.